McCombs, A Game of Shadows, short mode review. The year is 1891, and Sherlock Holmes is convinced that the recent string of bombings of major cities is the work of, Doc, of James Moriarty. But that's going to be tough to prove, because he's a well-respected man, and there are no actual traces of his supposed misdeeds. The... Watson is getting married, but let's see how that goes, and Sherlock gets a, a lead on Moriarty in the form of a gypsy fortune teller who might have some information. This is very much a game of wits between Moriarty and Sherlock, and it's a lot of fun to watch the two really fight each other with, you know, their intellects, really. The movie very much lives up to the first one. It is, again, very much an, a big action adventure, and this one is bigger than the first one. This one, the, the first one kind of set up Sherlock Holmes as this, you know, really intellectual, really smart, you know, crime investigator, and this one has him pitted against someone who is his equal, who, you know, who matches him in Moriarty. And, you know, we actually have Sherlock, excuse me, struggling to, you know, solve the case. And, and it's heightened by the fact that Moriarty doesn't actually hide. He hides his actions, but everybody knows who he is and he's not difficult to find or get to, but Sherlock can't touch him because he's friends with the British Prime Minister. The supporting cast is fantastic. I don't know the guy they cast for Moriarty, but he is pitch perfect. Stephen Fry is Sherlock Holmes' brother, and they have a lot of fun with that. The Gypsy is played by her name escapes me at the moment, but the woman who played Lisbeth Salander in the Swedish original Millennium Trilogy. This is a very fast movie, and you do have to really pay attention to keep up and to piece everything together. But it does just exactly allow you to do that, although, like the first one, it has a surprise at the end. The locations are gorgeous. We again have very stylized visuals and the British humor and quirky characters return. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series. The links are in the description box. Please rate and comment and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.